There's a new killer leprechaun in town, and this one's a gold digger. The Green Man, as he's also referred to, was trapped and buried generations ago by the town's Irish settlers, who brought it over to the States after stealing its gold to make their town prosperous. Cut to the present where the O'Hara descendants, Karen and her grandfather Pops are hunting, and she inadvertently wanders into an area known as the Tree of Tears and plucks a red cloak, initiating a deadly curse while also freeing the leprechaun. <laughs> Must not be a fan of Vine videos. Is that still a thing? The Leprechaun soon begins terrorizing the town while searching for gold, which it uses for food, and the hero dies. He must be a part of the Kills for Gold program. As the Red Clover's curse progresses, Karen's constantly haunted by nightmares. Straight out of the friend zone is her friend Dax, whose obsession leads him to research the leprechaun and determine that she has until St. Patty's Day to hunt a creature before she dies by the Red Clover curse. Let's shine a spotlight on Dax for not giving up in the friend zone. Then, slam into spotlight. You and I make a pretty good team. Yeah, you think so? Would. I mean, <laughs> I mean a branch, a staff, for the horseshoes, for the pimp slap. In case you made you think of that. Gives new meaning to would they or won't they. It doesn't take long for Karen to turn to her pops, who is not only the town drunk, but also the only one who's believed in fairy folk. She also gets help from her father, Sheriff Connor, played none other by Billy Zane, whose initial skepticism is quickly shattered as the death count rises. Vince, All you have to do is get it and get it buried by then, and she'll be okay. Pop, I got a call for backup here. Now, I get your backup. What are you going to tell your men? That you're a leprechaun hunting leprechauns? <laughs> that should have been the name of the movie. Leprechaun. Red Clover Revenge. i buy that for a dollar. In their constant encounters with the leprechaun, they uncover its inexplicable weakness. Horseshoe which they later used to form a pretty sweet weapon aptly called the four-leaf cleaver. <laughs> More like lucky harms, am I right? Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. Number three is the Silver Shamrock Face Buster. You didn't believe us. Nope, just didn't care. Seen beer before. Have fun, losers. <laughs> Looks like he faced the music. Second is the Leprechaun Reverse Sidewalk Slam. <laughs> Wait. He knows how to drive? I think this is the wrong Leprechaun movie for that. And finally, the finisher, the St. Patty's Day Coronation Clothesline. Way to rain on the parade with blood. Other highlights include Pops referring to Dax as what's-his-face in front of Karen after just witnessing his death. The scene jarringly turning into night after Karen jumps into the car with her father and Connor's meta speech about how bad a sheriff he is before meeting his untimely demise. I mean, the whole town is dead. If anyone should be dead out there right now. <laughs> He's not half bad. Red Clover was another surprisingly entertaining take on killer leprechauns from the writer and director of Sharknado. The creature design was original and well executed and delivered a body count higher than expected, including many that I thought should have survived. John! That deputy had guts. It also had a great lead with Courtney Halverson as Karen 
and a strong supporting cast, including William Devane and, of course, Billy Zane. I certainly appreciated the lore and the Red Clover curse, which motivated Karen to be the badass, literal, final girl. Hey, let me. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. On the Mad Simon's Meter, I give it 3.5 out of 5 masks. Red Clover is worth plucking. Thanks again for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs. Red Clover. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, what your favorite moments were, and be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more ridiculousness and more slammering movie reviews. Hey, it's not gonna kill you. If this was a bad monster movie, it'd kill everybody but you. Just more consolation. <laughs>